Okay, you ready, buddy? Yep. All right, you're gonna have a seat in the chair, and the dog's gonna be on your left. How, however, you're gonna put the leash underneath you, so you're gonna sit on the leash. It's called the sit on the dog exercise. You're not sitting on the dog. It's just a funny name for the exercise. It's a sit on the leash. Now, you wanna shorten that leash up really short, okay, to where the dog cannot move. So just to zoom in here, that sucker is probably only like four inches long from your hip to that clip. Yeah, kind of turn that. Good job to where it's kind of towards you there. Um, and you basically are just going to restrict the dog's movement at your side like that uh, and ignore the dog. So no talking, no touching, no eye contact. Drink your coffee and ignore the dog. In fact, the instructions ask you to do something else because I want you to sit here for 30 minutes. And I want you to be involved with your phone or a computer or homework or watching TV or playing a video game, I want you to absolutely ignore the dog. The dog is going to basically start trying to find comfort. So he's kind of stuck. Um, he, he can't go anywhere or she can't go anywhere. This is a female we have here. Um, the leash is super short. Um, so shortly she's going to sit down and she's going to get a little lazy on us and realize that her movement has been restricted and that uh, she might as well get comfy and just wait her time out. And then shortly after that, she'll probably go from the sit to a, a down position and lay down. Um, when she does go into that down position, you wanna check your tension, you know, am I choking her? If so, give her a little leash. Is it loose? If so, take some of the leash away. Uh, your goal is to have that leash snug like a turtleneck sweater, okay? So not tight, not loose, but just a, a tiny little bit of con consistent tension that is communicating her that she needs to not move. Um, this is the sit on the dog exercise. It's really quite simple. The ways you could mess it up are making the line too long. The longer the line is, the more opportunity the dog has to move so he's not learning how to sit still. So you want to, once again, have a super short line it needs to be a good four inches. Where you at, honey? See this one, she's pulling on you and it's even, and she's kind of winning. So it's starting to lengthen a little bit. So it's probably not short enough any longer. Um, you'll find that with certain chairs that the leash slides, the leash moves. So a cloth line on a cloth chair will work fine. Um, a leather line slides the least, but a cloth lead on the wrong type of chair, on a slick chair of some sorts is gonna just uh, move all over the place um, so with a real strong dog I would want you to pick up your leash on the right and just kind of like hold on to it nice and snug your body weight is holding the main pressure on that but you're gonna hold that so that she doesn't win if she was a real strong dog and your dogs are going to give you every bad behavior you can think about when you restrict their freedom they're gonna jump pull move backwards forwards left and right and what they're gonna find is that they can't they their their movements been restricted and, and they're stuck and there's not much they can do and once they accept that they're gonna move into relaxation they're gonna move back into the sit and then finally into the down and they're just gonna wait their time out the entire point of this exercise is to teach a dog how to sit still for a long period of time specifically 30 minutes because that's how long you do this exercise the reasons you would want this uh, well, any reason that you can think of that you would want a dog patiently waiting at your side in a down position while you're sitting. So I think of veterinary visits. When I'm in the office of a veterinary uh, place, I, you know, you got to wait for your turn. And so you're in the lobby and you have to um, wait until they come and get you. And so you sit on the leash and your dog looks at you and goes, oh man, I know this exercise, I can't go anywhere. And so he sits, lays down, and he's the best behaved dog in the office. Uh, another reason I would want this done would be patios for restaurants, okay? I love going to restaurants with my dog. We always sit on the patio. I put them in a sit on the dog exercise. They lay down at my side, and then we have pizza and beer, and everybody comes by and says, oh, what a cute dog, what a pretty dog. And I don't have to worry about my dog lunging at other dogs that walk by. I don't have to worry about uh, any kind of bad behavior at the restaurant. I can, I'm, we're not getting kicked out is what I'm trying to say. My guy's gonna, gonna be an angel, all right? Hey guys, Bo Harrison, Cranky Canine. I just wanted to show a small difference in the leash. So in our sit on the dog exercise, there's a moment when you're supposed to um, check the tension of your line to make sure that it is appropriate. We don't want it too long and we don't want it too short. 
Well, your dog is gonna lay down, and when the dog lays down, look at the angle of your leash. At the moment, this leash, um, if you can zoom in on it, is going straight down towards the ground. If my dog's leash is going straight down towards the ground and I'm still choking him, or it's too tight, give that guy some looseness. He doesn't deserve that tension. However, if the sit on the dog exercise is also somewhat of a puzzle because if your dog decides to lay down, but he lays down too far forward, my leash angle is gonna be going forward. But see, he could find more comfort on his own. So he could scoot back to this position and find his own loose leash. If he's sitting too far back, then he's gonna have tension on his line, but that's not my fault. If he would scoot his body forward a little, he would find his looseness. And if his angle is out towards the side, way out here, once again, I'm not gonna adjust that leash or give him any leeway because he has the ability to find his own looseness. So if he scoots his body closer to me and right in that spot, then he'll find his looseness. So when you go to check your tension on your line, make sure your leash is pointing straight down because if it's forward, out, or back, or even under the chair over this way, he has the ability to get closer to the sweet spot in order to find his own solution. Don't give the dog the help if, he has, if, if he's still working out the puzzle. Let him work out the puzzle and find his sweet spot. And then once he's in that sweet spot, then check your tension. Are you choking him? Give him some. Is it too loose? take some away. We want it snug like a turtleneck sweater, but we want the leash and the dog in the exact perfect spot. Thank you. So here's Lizzie <laughs> catching flies. She is happily at Joel's side and the leash tension looks just about perfect. She's got a happy face so we know that we're not too tight on the line, but we're also not loose. We are snug like a turtleneck sweater.